The first ever draft champions. All right, listen, yes. I'm running out of I'm running out of fucking ideas. I get it. Madden 20 has been out for 11 and a half months. If I was a Minecraft YouTuber, that's the equivalent of like seven years. So if I want to post a throwback Madden 16 draft champions video on August 20th, then I just might do it. Okay. Loser. Yeah, by the way, uh, I think this is dropping August 20th. August 21st, EA Access comes out, which is when you can play Madden 21 early. So I'm definitely going to be live streaming that. It's going to be fire. I might actually live stream on YouTube instead of Twitch. Either way, just be ready for me to go live on something and be there. Just give me a hug. This is such an exciting game mode when it came out, but it had so many flaws. Number one, you can only reset your draft once every 24 hours. Like if I did a head-to-head -head draft and I wanted to reset it, I can only do that once every 24 hours, which is so dumb because half the time all people want to do is a draft. Now I can't really do ranked or head-to-head -head draft because um nobody plays this game. I'm going to run a draft, maybe a couple, and then do a player friend. Oh, uh, we got Redskins Gruden. Oh, this is such a throwback. This is so sick. Keep in mind, this is bad when draft champions was very difficult draft champions now is this fucking baby walkthrough stepping stone virgin matt ryan boston college i'll take it dude draft champions now holds your hand and gives you every single player for every single position this draft champions is ruthless you're not guaranteed shit you're not guaranteed a qb you're not guaranteed a halfback uh your team will end up being like probably an 83 overall and the new ones it's like a 93 i actually like this better it, it makes your draft so much more important julius peppers left side <laughs> That might not even be that good of a pick. This is also the time period where 80 to 84s were gold players. And on top of that, the gold players like had insane stats. Like, look at this, dude. This is 84 overall LaShawn McCoy with 99 agility, 98 ball carry vision at the start of the game. That came out day one. I don't do that shit anymore. And I have to take him right now because I'm not guaranteed a halfback. David Johnson, see the, the starter, David Johnson had 93 speed as a 78 overall gold. This was so fun. Oh, 87 Kolovac on the Raiders. Yo, that's hype. Jordy Nelson. Oh, wow, dude. There's some serious OGs on this team. This is the best round, dude. Getting this round is so sick. I got Drew Brees, Atwater, Ray Lewis. I'm gonna go Ray Lewis. Jason Taylor, ultimate legend. Yo, I forgot about these. These ultimate legends are so far. I really did. 85 draft on my first run through is actually fire. I'm not gonna use this team anyway. I know I'm gonna redraft it. It's just really fun to look at this stuff. It's weird. I keep getting these invites and accepting them, but nothing happens. I've been here for literally 15 minutes trying to get this game to work. <laughs> Look at this, bro. I accept the invite and it just, I just sit here. Am I actually not able to play? Also, a huge thank you to Roman for sponsoring today's video. If you followed my channel since my high school days, you'll know I had really bad acne. So if you're like me and you've had to deal with redness, dark spots, wrinkles, Roman's got us totally covered. So what Roman does is they make it really convenient to get customized skincare. Just grab your phone or your computer, fill out a free online consultation with some basic questions, and if appropriate, a US licensed physician will actually reach out to you, will prescribe a custom treatment for you, it'll arrive in two days, free shipping, right to your door. It's so awesome. Plus, I've got an offer for you. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash MMG. Your first skincare treatment is literally just $5. Again, it's totally free to chat with a doctor. It is just $5. That was GetRoman.com forward slash MMG. Link is in the top of the description. Roman, thanks for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, we cracked the code. I just have to queue up head-to-head -head draft with someone else at the same time. So this guy named V3Cakes just messaged me. He's going to queue up at the same time time is me. So we're going to play. We're going to make this work. I'm going Ken Weisenhunt. Tennessee Titans. Sadly, this Tennessee Titans playbook does not have RPL Peak Zone Bubble. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm going to be horrible at this game. But this draft, no matter what I get in this draft, this has to be the draft I roll with because I can't restart this head-to-head -head draft. <gasps> yes! Yes! Russell Wilson, that's so big. Now, all I need is a halfback, and we're good. Fletcher Cox. I love Cox, dude. Love Cox. I'll go Zach Martin at right guard. Uh, Carlos Dansby. Steve Smith, dude. It'd be kind of cool that, you know, I gotta go Steve Smith. 96 CJ Mosley, campus hero. Uh, Giovanni Bernard or D-Hop? Let's go Giovanni Bernard in case I don't get another halfback. I'm gonna go Patrick Chung. Dude, I'm getting I'm getting kind of good rounds. Dude, none of these are insane, but they're all good. Jamie Collins? Yeah, let's do it. I kind of need an elite cornerback. Here we got, yo, Gatorade Peyton Manning. Eric Wood, you know, I got Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles is so sick in this game. 
I'm gonna go Jamal Charles. Damn, Giovanni Bernard was a bad pick now. Malcolm Jenkins, free safety. I only got two rounds left, though. I need a corner. Ahedabo, Upshaw. I'm gonna get James Ahedabo, and he's gonna have to go at corner, hopefully. A final round! Shit, this is not that good. Finneran is really good because of aggressive catching because he's six foot five. Rod Woodson at free safety would be so sick though. I gotta go Finneran, dude. Ag catch Finneran is gonna be crazy. All right, I'm ready to play. Let's do it. Hey, V3 Cakes, whoever you are, thank you for uh, clutching up and playing with me. This game looks like <laughs> shit. Yo, did I almost just return a kick? Yo, I took that to the 35. Let's go. It's so weird how it works. Every single year for Madden, we look at it and we're like, oh, it looks the same. It's the same game. This is stupid. But the difference between this and Madden 20 is insane. This looks like shit. This looks like I'm playing a game from it 20 years ago. All right, halfback stretch. Most overpowered play in Madden 21. We're gonna, or sorry, Madden 20. We're gonna try it out here. Dude, the run game, the run game is nothing at all like what it is in Madden 20. I do remember that you could run like base halfback dive and you could like cut it to the edge. It was something like that. I don't exactly remember, but I'm gonna try and figure it out here. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm about to lob that. I'm just gonna lob this to Brian Finneran. That is honestly my best shot. Finneran should be open. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> oh, I missed this game. This game is so dumb. You know why I remember this? This was the Madden where I started to transition away from Madden Mobile and into Madden Console. For those of you who haven't been a fan of my channel for like five years, which I don't expect you to be, I used to make Madden Mobile videos and that was it. And I was really scared when I was making the transition because number one, I thought no one would like my Madden Console videos because I sucked at the game. And two, I was so used to posting mobile, it was just weird for me. Well, this game made aggressive catch so overpowered that I had really never played the game before, but all I had to do was pass it to a wide receiver and hold Y and there was like a really good chance I was gonna catch it and I think he might have ultimate legend Gronk which is a very very scary wide receiver in this I'm gonna cover Bruce with Jenkins and I'm gonna blitz everyone else oh go get it oh, <laughs> now here's the thing if aggressive catch works for me that means it also works for him it's so busted dude all right I am blitzing just about everyone here oh shit bad time Damn. All right, let's see if he runs this ball again. We are in a man coverage here. I think he might want to throw to Gronk, so I got to be ready for it. Oh, he throws a wheel route in the middle of the field. He dropped it. Honestly, all he has to do is throw it to Gronk and hold Y. Oh, 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 let's go. I'm down on the three, but that was perfect. What's funny is in this game, like, jukes, juke moves, spin moves, they just don't work. They're horrible. I'm gonna try a stretch to the left, but y you can't, you can't break tackles in this game. That's the thing. Without X-Factors, it's, like, pointless to try. The only thing I can really do is throw the ball to Brian Finneran. Or maybe Steve Smith. Let's see who's open. Step it up in the pocket! We're rolling! Oh my God, I barely got down with Wilson there. All right, so I'm gonna send everybody up the field. I'm sending everybody up. Brian Finneran on the slant. I'm just gonna feed it to him. Got him! Let's go! All right, deep lob to Brian Finneran inbound. Let's see if he can do it again. Let's see if Finneran! Let's go! Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, he's got a pocket there. No, no, no. He doesn't touch him. Jeez. Ooh, Tyron Taylor shook one, but we still got him. Oh, let's go, dude. We're in the backfield. Fourth and 27. He's gonna punt. This this halfback slip screen still work? I don't remember which Madden they nerfed the shit out of it, but it might still work. Let's see it, Jamal Charles. Mm -hmm. It's kind of there. Yo! Swerve! Ah, let's go! Oh my god, I just swerved it. I actually just swerved it. I am blitzing everyone on the right side of the field right now. Let's go! I think he's gonna throw to Gronk. No, it's not there. No, I can't get to that. Holy shit. Dude, I'm so slow. I knew what route he was running. I couldn't get to it. Yo, it's actually a game now. Hey, I hit him. I hit him with slip screen once. I guarantee I can do it again. Let's see if he's ready for it. 
No, he's not, because he's on a safety. There's no way he's ready for it. Give me a block! Good block! Jamal Charles tripped. Uh, third and one. Inside zone is an awesome play in the new men's. I have no idea if it's good here. Oh, he was so ready for it. Dude, he literally was standing in the running lane. I'm gonna do it again. He won't think I'd do it twice, would he? Here, I'm gonna call a bunch of fake audibles and then run inside zone for a yard. Is it there? Jamal Charles sidesteps! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, that was so dog shit, but it worked. Second and nine, I'm gonna go Brian Finneran underneath for this pass right here. Let's see if it's there. Is he there? <laughs> Dude, he just delivered the best pass of the game for sure. And that takes us into the fourth quarter. Really good clock management right now. I think I'm gonna come away with a win here. As long as they don't some have some massive choke. You think Brian Finneran can go up and do what he does best? Single coverage. Oh shit, it's too deep. He caught that too. If that was in bounds, that's a touchdown. Oh, he's sending some blitzes. Maybe I gotta scramble. Maybe I gotta do it. Don't fumble. Didn't fumble. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Fourth and three, I'm getting this. In fact, I'm not just getting this. I'm getting a touchdown. He's there. We got him. No touchdown, but I'll take that. We're just gonna see what opens up here. There's a delayed safety blitz. Russell Wilson breaks free, takes a hit. Dude, he just ate that shit on the one. All right, third and goal. I do not have a touchdown yet. He's gonna stay in goal line. I'm gonna pitch it to the left side this time. Uh, wish me luck. It's there! Jamal Charles is too fast. Let's go. Oh my God. Dude, if he gets an onside kick. Oh wait, shit, I need to be an onside. I'm not an onside recover. Holy shit. I'm not gonna call timeout. Let's let it go. Let's see what happens. Go get it, boys. Let's go. James ahead of Bo. Around the edge. Around the edge. Oh my God, that would have been so sick if I had returned that. Just gonna go base four verts. Most fun thing to throw on this. Yup, he's open. He's open, he's got the wheels. Too fast, oh! This is big, I should punt, but obviously I'm not going to. Fake field goal run? Is this my holder who runs the ball? Who runs this ball? Is it my backup quarterback? Go, go, go! Uh-oh, no. So there is a fake, there's a fake option. It's kind of dog shit, but we tried it. All right, well now we have to actually clamp for a minute three, otherwise I will lose this game. Oh, he's gonna throw deep! Oh my god! I have to score. I have to go score now. Steve Smith? Oh my god, he's getting man cover clamped. Brian Finneran might be faster than his man, too. Look at Brian Finneran! Wide open! I think he's out of bounds. I think that stopped the clock. We're almost in field goal range already, so that's really good. All right, I'm gonna give Finneran a slant again, because I feel like that's gonna just continue to be open. Ooh, Russell Wilson, take off! No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I tried to throw that to Y, and he just pump faked it. I don't know what I clicked. And the Detroit Lions go down to the New England Patriots. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Throwback Madden 16 Draft Champions. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you tomorrow for Madden 21, not Madden 16. Peace out.